Hi everyone and welcome back to Crafty Night Shifty. It's Laura and I've got the third of my birthday month giveaways today and this is for a Little Bits box by Mummy Mele. So a Little Bits box is essentially it's a stationery box and it has items such as patterned paper, washi tapes, stickers, ephemera pieces, clips, charms, pens um, and each month you get something different you can go ahead and subscribe to those. Um, or you can enter this giveaway and get one and just to see what they're like and see if it's something that you'd be interested in. So for today's pr uh, project, I'm going to go ahead and use a stamp set by Mummy Mule and this is the Girl Issues stamp set. So I've gone ahead and took some of those really cute doodle images and arranged them on my stamp block and I'm just inking this up with some Versamark ink. This is, um, well, Actually, it's not Versamark. Um, this is embossing ink and it's a tinted ink. And the reason that I'm using this is just so you can see what I'm doing as I'm stamping. And as you can see, I'm just sort of working my way around the card, filling in any of the gaps and essentially just creating a patterned piece of paper. So once I've gone ahead and filled in most of those gaps, I'm just going to remove the majority of the stamps and then just take each stamp individually and fill in some of those gaps. So the paper that I'm using here is um, Simon Says Stamp and it's cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm just going to go ahead and use some Paper Mania Lilac Coloured Embossing Powder to cover over all of that embossing ink. Now these, the embossing powder and the paper are such a close match that actually I probably just could have used Versamark ink and left like a watermark effect. However, I decided to go with the embossing powder and heat set that and I like the way it gives an ever so slightly 3D element to the design on this background paper. So I allowed my heat gun to get really good and hot before I brought it to the paper but because there was such a large surface area for me to heat emboss I did have a little bit of warping so I went ahead and just applied some heat to the back of the paper and that helped to straighten it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this piece through my die cut machine which will also flatten out the paper and I'll be able to cut out these peekaboo windows. This die is from My Favourite Things and it's the triple stitched peekaboo window die and I'm just going to line that up on the front of my card and then hold it in place with a piece of post-it tape. So I went ahead and ran that through my die cut machine and it just cuts out these three little peekaboo windows and leaves a really cute stitching detail behind. So what I'm going to do with these three windows is I'm going to stamp an image on the inside of each of these windows. So I went ahead and lined up the patterned paper that I created on top of a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and cut that patterned piece of paper down ever so slightly to leave a white border. So I used my pencil to draw around the inside of each of those windows so I'd know where to stamp my images and I took three more of the really cute images from this stamp set and I stamped them in Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I knew that this ink would be um, Copic friendly or alcohol marker friendly um, and I wanted to use my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers to colour these in. So I've just gone ahead and sped you right up while I do this colouring. It's really basic colouring. Um, I'm not applying any shading. I'm just applying a flat level of colour over each of these images. And I'm keeping the colouring really girly. Um, excuse my head getting in the way there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and colour these in. And I'm using a grey on parts of that iPod. And then I decided to apply some blue onto the um, background of each of those windows. Now, what I really should have done is remove the pencil line, but instead I just coloured over it, so I kind of trapped that in there, um, which was a bit silly, but there we go. Um, and then I went ahead and applied double-sided sticky tape all over the back of my front panel. And you might have noticed that I stuck that panel down with some post-it tape, and I was using it as sort of a hinge to lift the piece up and down. Um, right at this crucial moment where I wanted to flip that piece over and have it perfectly aligned, the post-it tape came off, so I just had to go ahead and eyeball that. And um, I think I did an okay job, I think it's ever so slightly off from where I originally wanted it, but I think it looks nice in the end. Okay, so I decided to take the selfie sentiment from this stamp set, and I, I love this, I think it works really well with the, um, with the camera. So I decided to stamp that down and I pressed really firmly to make sure that the stamping applied really well over that embossing powder. And then, just as a finishing touch, I decided to add some gems. So here I've got my multi-medium glue in the matte finish. And I've got a fine tip applicator on the end there. And then I'm using my sticks to um, glue, sort of, sort of like a glue pen. It allows you to pick up gems, so it's a really low tack adhesive but it's really useful for whenever you're trying to place sequins or gems. 
these particular gems that I have here are actually um, not from card making, they're actually from a um, really sparkly bow that I had um, as part of my cheerleading. These were the spare gems that went with it and I decided to just use a couple of those on the front of this card and they sparkle so beautifully. Okay, so now on how to enter the giveaway. If you could leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know which item you just can't leave house without and it's always in your handbag. For me, I think it would be lip balm. It's in every single one of my bags. You can also get an additional entry by heading over to Instagram, leaving a comment on this photo. Okay, so on screen right now are two more of my giveaways for the month of August. If you haven't already checked them out and entered, then you can do so by clicking on the links on the screen. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you here again soon. That's all from me. Bye for now.